here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on epoxides. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the author of the Dat Destroyer books and the creator of the Orgoman products. I want to go over a type of question that you're likely to see on the DAT exam. So let's have a look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this compound and I'm going to treat it with these three reagents. I'm going to have sodamid in ammonia, then the epoxide, and then I'm going to acidify it, and I want you to tell me what the final product is. The best way to approach this is we went off to the side. NaNH2 is a strong base, and it's going to remove off the most acidic proton. And when we remove the most acidic proton, we generate the nucleophile. Now, the rule for epoxides in acid, we're going to attack the most substituted carbon, meaning this one. In base, we attack the least substituted carbon. When I say base, you want to make sure there's no H3O or H plus present. So here, the only thing present is a minus, and it's a nucleophile. So we're going to know that this is a base. So we're going to attack the less substituted carbon. There's the attack. Now, I put it in different colors for you so you don't get lost. Once you do the attack and this moves out, all I would simply do is pick up a proton and that would give me this final product on the board. And if I named it, the alcohol group is going to be um, the main priority because that's the main functional group. So the longest chain bearing the alcohol is one, two, three, four, five. Or you could have went across, it wouldn't have mattered. But you can see that number two is going to contain a, a methyl and number five would contain a phenyl. So we put it together and we would get two methyl, five phenyl, four pentyne, two all. I hope that helps. It gives you a good practice on nomenclature, which we have more than one functional group. And of course, a nice reaction on epoxides. All right, I hope this helps. I'll see you in study group. Bye-bye.